Okay, so you've got a document in Word and you want to put headers and footers in. But you want to have something different on the first page and then on subsequent pages you might want something else. You might also want to have odd and even pages being different. So you might have the title of the book on the left hand side and maybe the chapter name or number on the right hand side. So on the odd and even pages they can be different. You can combine the two so you can have a different first page and then odd and even can be different as well. So let's just take a look at how to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into view and I'm going to just change this so you can see two pages side by side. I've only got three pages in this document. And what I want to do is the first thing I need to do is tell it that I want to have a different header or footer on the first page. So I'm just going to go to page layouts and on my page setup group here, just in the corner, I'm going to click on this little arrow and then this dialog box comes up. Here I'm just going to click on layouts and here is where you can make the changes to those settings. So I'm just going to tick different first page. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to click on OK. I'm now going to put in a header on this page here. I could do a header or a footer or both, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go into insert. Over here you see you've got header and footer. So you can click on that and you can see that there are various options there. And you can scroll down. These are all standard ones built in like little templates. Same again for the footer here. You can also add page numbers, top of the page, bottom of the page. And actually I think I will actually put one in at the bottom of the page. I'm going to put it here on the right hand side. So I'm just going to click on that. And you can see it's coming up here, but it's not coming up here. And if I just scroll down to my third page, you'll see it's coming up here. This is because I put it onto anything but the first page and I chose to have a different first page header and footer. And you can see it says first page header and then on this one it's just got header and footer. And again back here it says first page footer. So you can see that they're different. Now I could just leave it blank and not have anything at all on the first page header. That would be fine. A lot of people don't want something on that first page. But let's say I did. I can just click in here, go to insert, choose picture, and I'm just going to put the Jargon Free Help logo in there and click on insert. And there you can see it. it's only on that first page. If I come over here, I could put something into here, such as how to use a computer as the heading. Nothing here, but down here there's something. So you can see that's how you can do different first page. So I could choose to close my header and footer now, or I could have different odd and even pages. I can select that now. But just so you know, if I close that, go back to page layout, click on that arrow there, and I can choose different odd and even pages here, and click on OK. Now I can get back into that header up at the top, and you can see that's moved now. It doesn't say anything there, but if I go to the third page, how to use a computer is there. You will see more in just a moment because I need to get back into my header. So I could go back into inserts, choose header or footer and choose edit header. However, the other way you could do this, if you've got something already in your header or footer, you can just double click in your header and footer to open it. So if I double click there, I've got my first page header, first page footer, even page header, even page footer. And if I go down here, odd page header. So up at the top here, I just might want to put in chapter one. So my first page header has that. My even page header has that. My odd page header has that. So you can see they're all different. I'm just going to close my header and footer. What I'm going to do, go down to my third page here. I'm just going to insert a page break. And you'll see it now has how to use a computer here and chapter one here. This probably isn't quite right because what I need to do is possibly line this up on the right hand side. So that, that way, if I now close my header and footer, you've now got it lining up here on the right and here on the left. And you can play around with this to get the right thing. Don't forget you can do the same things in the footers as well, in the and 
You can do the same thing in the footer on the first page. So there you are. That's how you can have a different first page header. And also you can have different odd and even headers and footers as well.